In order to navigate the glorious complexity of Tibetan art, it's helpful to identify key iconographic elements, such as ritual objects, which aid in contextualization. The Vajra Scepter is the most ubiquitous ritual object of esoteric Tibetan Buddhism, and it's both utilized in physical practice and represented in painting and sculpture. In Sanskrit, the term Vajra means indestructible, and it symbolizes the indivisible state of absolute reality in the Buddhist context. A Vajra is typically made of meteoric iron or bronze, and it is held in the right hand, which represents the masculine elements of compassion and skillful action. The historical guru Padmasambhava is almost always depicted with a Vajra held aloft in his right hand as you see in this 15th century painting from the renowned Tamashige Tibet collection. In this 16th, 17th century painting, also from the Tamashige Tibet collection, we see the deity Vajradhara. The name Vajradhara actually means Vajra holder, so he's quite easy to identify. Vajradhara is almost always depicted with his hands crossed in front of his chest, his right hand holding a Vajra, and his left hand holding a bell with a Vajra tip. Akila is another frequently depicted ritual object, and it's commonly held by wrathful deities. Mahotara Haruka is the embodiment of a wrathful deity. If you take a look at Mahotara Haruka's many hands, you see a variety of ritual weapons, including the Vajra Scepter in the upper right hand, this 15th century set of girdle and armlets made of carved yak bone, also from the Tamashige Tibet collection, is worn by tantric practitioners in ritual dance and initiation ceremonies. It serves as a symbol of worldly renunciation and also as a memento mori or symbolic reminder of the inevitability of death. In both of these 16th century Nepalese bronze sculptures, we see depicted the deity Chakrasambhara together with his female consort Vajravarahi. As all Buddhist art is highly symbolic, the union of the male Chakrasambhara and the female Vajravarahi is a symbol of the integration of masculine and feminine elements. Here the bone girdle is adorned with jewels and it's prominently displayed around the waist of the deity. Ritual objects and ornaments create a tangible link between the physical world of the tantric practitioner and the symbolic world of the tantric deity and their enlightenment experience.